Ah, <sighs> back in my day, I was a prospector. Made good money off of it. Stupidly good. My family lived comfortably, but that wasn't good enough for me. I wanted to make sure they'd never work. I was obsessed with getting that one big haul. I found it in the Morales Army Depot. It was my golden goose. The thing I'd spent my life looking for. And it was a goddamn death trap. I sent dozens of <coughs> men to their deaths. Spent years away from home trying to crack that nut. My wife had an affair. In retrospect, it was inevitable. But it still hurt. When I found out, I hired the guy and sent him down with no backup. He didn't come back out. Next thing I knew, Wanda was gone. She took the kids. <coughs> I thought about going after them, but... I didn't... I knew I didn't deserve them. We've kept in touch from a distance, but I... I never really apologized for what I did. I want to fix that before I go. I already said I'd deliver your letters, but you better have the caps to pay me when I return. Somebody requested our help today. In the El Rey Motel. Right in front of where I killed this man. This is the man who requested our help. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he, um, he did. He wanted us to help him break his drug addiction. Technically, he's not addicted to drugs anymore. <laughs> One of these rooms has to have somebody in them. Maybe they have a quest for us. Quest serves. Oh, God, rats! I mean, scorpions! <laughs> ah! No, I'm not! No, no. Okay. Veronica, where's Punchy? What the hell are you doing? This is not where you get a quest from. Quest giver, what do you want us to do? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Veronica, what? Is that an exit sign? <laughs> All right. Whatever. We'll gloss over that. Over here. Hello, yeah. give us the quest! Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Oh man, he had a belt in here. He was just choking himself and jerking off, and we ruined his entire heap. Where did you get that? I took it from you! I made multiples. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, uh, this might actually be the one. So, how'd they take it? Oh, <coughs> sorry. I <coughs> thought he was someone else. Oh, okay. Oh, you're welcome to stay in chat. Can't do much else in my current condition. Hold on, hold on. Before we continue, this radio is getting on my nerves. It is. There we go. All right. No, Sir, don't no, leave. No, 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 no. Welcome back. <laughs> Come to see me cough out a lung? Yes. I think I got <coughs> at least one left. Are you alone here? Not all the time. Followers come down here every blue moon for a checkup. They never have good news. Are, Are you, you contagious? Or do you just like coughing on us? Oh, what gave it away? The cough or all these beeping gizmos? <laughs> You're not hooked up to any of them, so... Yeah, I'm sick and uh, I don't have long. Doctors made that <coughs> clear. How long, specifically? I'm just wondering when I should come back and steal all your shit. <laughs> what are you sick with? You sure do ask a lot of questions, kid. Tuberculosis. It's cancer, if you want to know. Oh. Been growing inside of me for a while now. Used to be a prospector, see? Got an edge on the competition by scavenging old military bases and toxic waste dumps. Uh, places they wouldn't touch. I thought I was clever back then. <coughs> oh, but I'm paying for it now. Oh no, a dying old man! The inhumanity! <laughs> oh, no, so rude. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Can I help? Afraid not. It's too late to stop this. Far too late. Thanks for the offer, though. I mighty appreciate it. I got a chainsaw. Anyway, who did you think I was? Courier I hired. Young kid, younger than you, a bit shorter too. He should have been back by now. I don't know what's taking him so long. <laughs> Tell me about this courier. Said he used to work for the Mojave Express till they fired him. Would have just gotten an actual courier, but the Express was busy with this big shot client, so I had to settle. Would you like me to find him? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to check up on the kid. Here's the route he said he was going to take. <laughs> Hopefully he stuck to it. Otherwise, I don't know what to do. And hey, thanks for the help. <laughs> You're welcome. I guess we're gonna go find Veronica! him. Veronica! You're not supposed to go into the nether realm without telling me first! 
All right, let's go find this guy. Oh, you're back from the net. So you're back from. <laughs> you're back from the net. <laughs> what? What? Veronica, I've heard you guys can shoot lasers from your eyes. Is it true? Why does everyone always say that? Because it's true? Don't mind me. So you're back from the nether re <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Where are we going? Oh, it's just right over there. Oh, yeah, near fiend territory. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> oh, he's totally fine. Remember this jerk? Ah, yes, vase gel. Vagisil? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is that the is that the word you were trying to say? No, vasal gel is a thing. What the hell is vasal gel? A men's contraceptive. Oh. What's vagisil? Women use it for yeast infections. Mm, why is that the first thing you thought of? Just fucking lit him <laughs> off. What a beauty! Oh, we're getting shot at! Oh man. Okay, hang on, hang on, I got this. Oh, there's more! Oh, you rough friends. Ah! You oh, jeez! <laughs> ow, ow, ow! Stop it! <laughs> he took his head off. My god, he went right through the middle of where there's like a billion fiends. <laughs> yeah, he didn't make a good choice here. He made such a bad shot. He went right through Driver Nefi's old stomping grounds. What did he think was gonna happen? I heard that Zack took out Driver Nefi and his fiends. Surely there are no more fiends. Oh God! God Jesus! What are you? What are you get? Ah! Go ahead, go, God! Mike? That wasn't me this time. He's somewhere right around here. Is he though? There he is. He went through the middle of fiend territory with a 22. I can't believe he didn't survive. So what did the note say? Nash didn't know what he lost. Yeah, so maybe I punched an NCR soldier. Maybe I insulted Nash's wife. And maybe I'm a, quote, suspect in an active murder investigation, end quote. But what does any of that have to do with me being a fucking courier? I take a package, get it to the client, maybe I take it for myself if I like it, and boom, done. Does that involve, quote, over 20 outstanding warrants in NCR territory, end quote? Of course not. So why should it matter if I allegedly have them? Once Nash realizes what he's lost, he's gonna come crawling back to me. He'll beg on his knees for me to join up with the Express again. And I'll laugh. I'll laugh so hard that- Wait, what was that noise? And that's when he got shot in the face. That's when he saved as draft and then died. <laughs> <laughs> save as draft. No, no, don't save as- I'll title it later. Save as draft. <laughs> save as draft. Stop trying to upload to the cloud. I'm already at my bandwidth limit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Is that guy pointing a gun at me? Bam! <laughs> hey, he's dead. I should have known this would happen, but I was right desperate. <laughs> Here's your pay. If you're interested in more, I may have another job for you. Is it the job that the previous guy failed? <laughs> Same job the last guy had. Yup. <laughs> if the <coughs> cough didn't give it away, I'm probably not long for this world. I've got regrets, loose ends to tie up, words that need to be spoken. The problem is, I can't travel far enough to say those words, thus your job. I'd like you to take these letters and deliver them to my family. Oh, you don't have to explain nothing, or even talk to them. Just hand them the letters and come back. You have a letter, alright. Do that, and I'll give you 5,000 caps. What do you say? That seems like a lot of caps for a delivery job. It's not like I'll be needing the caps anytime soon. If that's the case, then double that! Done. Triple that! Done. Let it ride! <laughs> I'll deliver the messages. Good. Good. <coughs> Don't bother telling me how they react. Just come back when you've delivered all of them. Thank you for doing this. I'm grateful. If you're dead when we come back, where are you hiding that money? Um, well, why don't we start with Benji? Okay. I'm assuming Benji is his son. Very well. Uh, apparently, I have to get on top of this cliff. Or maybe it's down there. Oh, yes. No. Uh, no, <laughs> no. I don't know what happened last time I went in something like that. We're not doing that again. Probably not. What the? Hostile robots for no reason. I don't know why. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Veronica, don't run through the cloud of fire that you just made. I lied! I'm actually used to incendiary rounds on my grenade launcher! Damn it, Mike. 
<laughs> Fire no! Wow, this is a lot of grenades getting fired down into that pit. No, Veronica, don't go down there. Don't go down there. Don't go down there. She's chucking grenades. Okay, that went a lot better. You better not have damaged that energy weapon. And what do you care? I like energy weapons. I know you think you do. <laughs> uh, power armor training manual. Tesla Barton prototype. Why would he be up here, though? I don't know. Where the hell else would he be? Well, I am actually stuck now. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Zach got stuck in jagged geometry. Zach got stuck in jagged geometry. <coughs> I don't know if this is gonna help. Nope. Hey, I could use a hand over here. <laughs> is this actually how we get in there? But we found the army depot. We're here, technically. That just got added to our pit boy. Let's fast travel to it. And we're here! Hey, hey! We did it! We're brilliant! Hey, you came to loot the depot, right? Do yourself a favor and turn around. My entire squad just got melted by robots. It's not worth it. Just get out of here. Who are you? Name's Mara. I'm a merc who made the mistake of taking this job. What is this place? This is the Morales Army Depot. It's a treasure trove of pre-war tech. Still, it's not worth getting. That's for me to decide. Also, we're looking for Benjamin. Benji? He's still inside. Are you going in after him? I kind of promised an old guy with cancer I would, so I'd feel bad if I didn't. Oh, wow. Dang. Mind if I come with you? Didn't you literally just tell me not to go in? Yeah, and uh, you're ignoring my warning, so I have to go in and keep you safe. Besides, me and Benji are good friends. I've got to save him. What? <laughs> you were just gonna abandon him, though. Yeah, you were just gonna leave him. How how does that make you good friends? Yep, the best. Known each other ever since we were kids. Uh, okay. <laughs> so what skills do you bring to the team? I'm a crack shot with a laser rifle, and I can take a few hits before going down. Ah, good meat shield. Besides that, I also have the password to the security terminal on the first floor. We will need that, I assume. All right, fine, let's go. Cool, you won't regret this. I will. I'm already regretting it. Mara is now following you! Two heads are always better than... Shut up. <laughs> There's five of us now. Yeah. Okay, so... Alright, pull slugs, because robots. You think there's gonna be a lot of them, though? <laughs> what if it's just one robot? It's either going to be barely any robots, or it's going to be a lot more robots than should be in one area. Here, take this. It's the password to the security terminal. Are you leaving now? The robots drove me off before I could use it, but you can shut down all the bots on this floor from there. Well, after time, oh, I dang it. I was hoping she was about to leave. Damn it! Lock. Yeah, Veronica! Go, go, go! Get him, Veronica! Woo! Wow, she is just cleaving through them! Yeah, she really wanted to get past all those robots. Sup? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I hear robots still. Yes. What is the magic word? <laughs> what? <laughs> the magic word is, uh, magic word! What? No, magic word! No. That is very wrong. <laughs> you should feel bad. I feel slightly bad. <laughs> what is the magic word? Open says me. That is not the magic word. What is the magic word? Abracadabra! That is not the magic word. What is the magic word? Please! Correct. I hope you learned your lesson. What, really? <laughs> yeah. Come on! The magic word is please. Uh, and the game crashed. Pack you desk. <laughs> hey, Mike. Good Hi. news. Oh, yeah. What's the good news? The general wasn't burned at all when you dropped a hot cup of Joe in his lap like a fucking idiot. Well, that's good to hear. More good news. Oh. You'll never do it again. Really? Pack your desk. You're gone. When you're done, meet me outside. We need to talk. So, you want to pack the entire desk? It's going to be difficult. What do you want to pack it in? A shipping crate? With love, Adam Sewell. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Okay, then I guess we're going to keep on going. Ooh, this area's collapsed. Mm. Don't think we're... Oh, maybe we are going this way. Oh, interesting. More notes! What do you think Ben is going to sound like? I lost a few guys in the initial push. Can't remember their names. Didn't bother. They weren't important. 
Still, I almost gave up. I knew we'd lose people, but to see it up close, whew. Then I found this place, his camp. That means he really is down here waiting for me. I've got to push deeper. I've got to find him. I'm the only one who can. Okay, Ben, if you say so. Yara, James, Yavik, Eddie, Anderson. That's who we lost. I've got to remember their names. No one else will. They died getting us out of that hallway. Thing was a damn bottleneck. Took everything we had to get out. So we aren't going back through that meat grinder anytime soon. Choke boys, told you. The problem is the hallway is the only way out of this damn place. There's really only one thing left to do. Get in the basement and fulfill our original mission. We'll use the weapons we find down there to fight their way back out. It's wishful thinking, but it's better than nothing. Apparently, Alexi was part of Ben's crew. Who knows? Go figure. For the last time, I don't care what color the wall is. I just want the hole to be... Martha, if you ever find this, I love you and the kids so much. I hope you know that. Also, that hole needs to be fixed. Fucking fix it, Martha. That wasn't helpful. What is it? Tell me about Benjamin. He sent dozens of teams down here. His dad did that too, I think. Didn't mention okay, that. Okay, why is he so obsessed with this place? His dad ruined his life trying to get at the treasures in here. Benji thought he could vindicate his dad or something by finishing what he started. I think it's safe to say he took away the wrong lesson from his dad's troubles. He wouldn't shut up about his dad. Said he was a great man, that no one understood him, that he was a real hero. It got annoying after a while. What about his mom and sister? He has a sister? <laughs> I mean, he never mentioned her once. As for the mom, you kind of got the feeling they weren't on great terms. Huh. You say you've known Benji all your life, but you didn't know he has a sister. That story's dubious. Tell us more about yourself. Really? Now? <sighs> Fine. I've been a Merc for about 20 years now. I've worked with NCR, Van Graffs, and up until about five hours ago, Benji. Van Graffs, you say? Now I'm working with you. What did you do before you were a merc? A lot of things. Have to keep busy when you're basically immortal. I was a doctor, a performer, a butcher, a dancer, a singer, a fall girl. Okay. An assassin, a bounty hunter, a soldier, an Still archer, a comedian, an alcoholic, a merchant... <laughs> An accountant, an engineer, and I competed in four eating contests. <laughs> Should have led with the eating contest. That's the most interesting one. Let's get going. Right. I've got a bunch of training and a bunch of rich history, and I decided to do one of the most dangerous jobs, because I, I just want to die at this point. I know the general is kind of a hard ass, but Sewell is something else. Just last week, he blew up... Just last week, he blew up at this 15-year-old intern who spilled a cup of coffee on the general. It was a freak accident, but Sewell didn't care. He fired the guy an hour later, and after that, he dragged the intern out back and beat the crap out of him. That's insane. That's literally fucking insane. It's actually pretty tame in the grand scheme of things. So I've decided to get back at him in my own way. I hacked into the base of security and set up a little program. His door will automatically be locked until he says please, and then it'll crash his game. Let's see how long it takes him to get out. Okay, okay then. And that's why we can't get in there. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll try later. How do you like that, you mother loving coming? Hi. Whoa! Yeah. Hey, Dead Wastelander got here somehow. Dead Wastelander, Mr. Gutsy. That's not Benji. At least I don't think so. To whoever finds this, get out while you still can. This place is a death trap. There are robots, traps, everything that could possibly kill you is in here. Except for scorpions. There aren't any of those. As far as I know. One of the scorpions got my team and it got me. <laughs> if you were hired by a man named Austin, punch him in the jaw for me. Uh, was Austin the name of the old man? Yes. Oh, so Austin got these people killed, did he? All right, well, we'll have to punch Austin. Dr. Asimov has noted the flaws in the robot's programming. Again, that Asimov. We assured him that we are more than capable of taking care of the robots should they become a problem. Again. He ran off in a huff again. We assume that he'll be back sometime in the future. Again. again. On a more serious note, again, we're starting to see the manager, Adam Sewell, as, again. as a security risk. He's got a hair trigger temper and on more than one occasion, he's threatened to, quote, beat our teeth in. Again. Normally, I just kick him out again, but the general insists on him being in charge of the admin. I'll have my guys keep an eye on him. Maybe we'll get lucky and the idiot will die in his office after locking himself inside again. Again. <laughs> All right. This is the last floor we were on before I bailed. The treasure's one floor down. But, uh, let's find Benji first. How do you know it's one floor down? I'm sorry. You could run. I am trying to kill you. Wait a second. If you made it down here before, why were there robots on the previous level? God, there's a lot of notes. 
On orders from General Richter, only authorized personnel are allowed in the labs. Please let the general if you have lost your key card. Thank you. Sign the security team. And now the final- Shit! I just can't believe Benji just left us in here, man! You didn't even look back! You just ran off the first sight of trouble! Fucking coward! I knew he should have just taken the caravan job! God, I don't want to die alone! Hey, is this Swiss cake roll free? Can I have this? And then he ate it and died. We are late. Ooh, all right. A lot of enemies in there. And Veronica's got a handle on it. Weapons busted. <laughs> the others, the others are gone. Had to leave them behind once the elevator touched down. It was them or me. I'm too close to turn back now. I've sacrificed too much. Even that bitch Mara, I don't even care about her. God, I can still hear the screams of everyone else, though. No, can't think like that. They served their purpose. They were cannon fodder, just like Mara. They always were. Disposable. Now you do the real work. Now you bring father home. No more distractions. No more interruptions. I'm getting this done tonight. Okay, you're very determined, Benji. You got a billion points of ammo and 20 yeah, machines. I have, I have so much ammo right now. Ugh. Four. Take yeah. the bait. Mike, where are you going? I'm gonna kill some robots! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I am... <laughs> it did not work out well for me! <laughs> I am to dead! Oh man, that went great. Oh jeez. Oh, don't die! I'm too gross for anyone else to have sex with. If you die, I'll go back to being a virgin. Okay. Most of us survived. Thanks for the help, there, Mara. <laughs> hey. Ah, oh, finally. Oh look, more notes! Oh god <laughs> damn it! Hey, some cool toys! Oh, I mean, I, well, this stuff is okay. Oh, look at these little toys, those are neat. Mm-hmm, and some ammo, can't complain about that. Oh, hello. Well, that's Benji. What a shame. W what a shame? I thought you two were good friends! Yeah! Well, yeah, but I only knew the guy for a few weeks. What?! You <laughs> Can't keep your story straight. Yeah. You said you knew him since childhood. We grew apart. It happens. We, we should get going. Okay. Yeah, we should. Is this is this Benji? Is well, it? that's Benji. Is it? Let's yeah. take his anti-material rifle mm. and his armor. Let's read Benji's journal entry. Damn it! Stepped on a mine. I'm losing a lot of blood, but it doesn't matter anymore. I found him. I actually found him. Mom told me I was Austin's son, but even as a kid, I knew she was full of shit. My face was bigger than his, my eyes were a different color, and my hair was a dead giveaway. It's bright yellow. It's weird. I wonder if Austin knew. Maybe he did, but refused to accept it. I guess he didn't want to think that he killed my father for no reason, that it was already too late. My mom isn't much better, though. She left him down here, didn't tell me anything about him. I had to bribe Carla with chems to finally learn the truth. I hope mom and her man Carlos are having bump fuck nowhere. It was wrong to leave him down here. It was wrong for him to be alone. I can't give him a proper burial, but at least he's got company now. And then he died. Who is Alexi that he was traveling with? The robots, they got me. Set up mines around the hall. Why is my voice German now? I want to be with Wanda, with our child. Why did I accept Austin's offer? Why could I be so stupid? I feel cold and I'm also dead. Bleh, bleh. Oh, Alexi was part of the original expedition. Alexi was Benji's father, and Benji was following Alexi's trail. And then we followed his trail to his corpse. Since Benji's dead, let's read his note that the father was going to give him. I don't have much to say. I suppose by now you've figured out that we aren't related by blood. Uh-huh. In fact, I bet your mother told you herself. Nope. Your biological father died down here in the Morales Army Depot. I killed him, more or less. Sent him to die when I found out that your mother was in love with him. Oh. I just want you to know that I never once considered you anything less than my son. Take care of your sister for me. I'm sorry. Austin. Austin sent Benji's father down here to die. And then he was so stricken with grief that he raised Benji as his own? I guess. But what did they actually come down here for anyway? To get all the stuff that's further down. 
So we there's still some loot in this area then. You think that'll Hey I think this might be it. Seems like some junk. It does Oh wow, look at that. I could live off this for years. After I get rid of you anyway. Uh, I kind of figured this would I happen. I thought I'd just follow you down here until you drop so I could take your stuff. You... This is much better than I could have hoped for, so thanks. What about Benji and your squad? They were co-workers on a job that, frankly, didn't pay as much as it should have. So yeah, I was lying. I honestly didn't think you'd buy it. We didn't buy it. Because you're not very good at this. I was good enough to get the drop on you. There's that. No, you weren't. Oh, okay. It looks like we had options not to kill her, but you didn't want to take them. <laughs> I didn't even have to do anything. Nope. These ammo boxes are all empty. <laughs> there's just... Uh, there's a couple combat helmets. This is terrible. power armor. This sucked. I feel like we shouldn't have even come down here. <laughs> it's all about the, the journey, not the destination. And there's that door that if we try and use Crash is the game. Yup, not gonna use it. Congratulations, the door is now open. Uh, he, he. He wanted help and we did not bring it in time. He. I think he wanted us to know what his preferred pronoun was. That was the most important thing. Ah, uh, yes. It's a, ooh, uh, day question mark one. Day four. All right, all right, all right. Let's listen to his entire life story. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about her. She's dead! <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> this is the asshole that yeah. got locked in his office. Yeah. Damn, the terminal blew! Nearly took my face with it! I could've ended up like that Jerry guy! Also, the door's locked. Also, it's talking to me. Also, I thought I was crazy. But no, it's actually talking to me. It's asking me to say, quote, the magic word. Whatever the hell that is. I tried, do it. I tried, you're fired. I even tried, open says me. Nothing. I thought it might even be a sassy door. And I said, magic word. And it spat in my face. I didn't even know doors could do that. I'm going to wait here for an intern to let me out. When he does, I'm firing them and whoever else did this. <laughs> Getting kind of thirsty, so I broke open a few sarsaparillas. Delicious sarsaparilla. I've gone through about 12 so far. They better open that door before I run out, or they're all getting their below industry average pay asses beat. Mm-hmm. Uh, next is day nine. Tried making the word help out of empty bottles. Didn't have enough. Don't even know why I tried. No one's coming. No, you should have done SOS. One fewer letter. I'm almost out of sarsaparilla. Ran out of food yesterday. Thought maybe I'd drink my new Coca-Cola victory. Was this close to opening the bottle when I realized what I was doing and slapped myself hard across the face. Also, banged my head against the wall. Also, can't remember much else because of the concussion I gave myself. Also, that new Coca-Cola is a one-of-a-kind collector's item. Also, I earned that new Coca-Cola by saving up money and then hiring somebody to steal it from my neighbor's house. Also, it is a sign of my ingenuity, my intelligence, and also my managerial skills. I'm going to get out of this. I know I will. I'm too important to be left behind. Too important to die alone in my own office. Someone will miss me. If they don't, they're fired. I know you guys are out there laughing at me. Oh, Seawell's hungry, what a lark. The joke is over. Let me out of here, or I swear you are all fired. If you hear me, I'll fight. No, I'll kill each and every one of you for this. I'll kill you. <laughs> and then he ran out of oxygen. The end. What a great story. Boy, I'm glad we came back in here and read that. Did he drink all of these? He did drink all of them. Yeah, yeah. He had enough to spell SOS. <laughs> You're not supposed to be in the scene. You're ruining the shot. You're ruining it. Get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> this is this is the officer then. Yeah. How do all his clothes come off? He's a skeleton. <laughs> what? Do the robots come in here and clean him up? They cleaned up his clothing. <laughs> all right. Well, just because he was an asshole. Yeah. Take that. Crazy how these uh, desiccated corpses have sturdier skulls than freshly killed people. I know. Isn't that weird? <laughs> I can't believe Austin sent so many people to their deaths. For that. Yeah, for basically nothing. Oh, was this like the camp before they would go in there? Oh. Looks like it. Hi, my name is Benjamin. My mom's name is Juan and my father's name is, well, I guess I'll find out. And it, it turns out that it wasn't Austin. It was his other guy. Anyway, he's dead. Doesn't matter. Hey, we can breathe how, fresh air again. How was I even supposed to get up? Oh my what God. Are you, right? are you serious? Like how was I supposed to get up there? Do. Most people can squeeze through that gap. Get out of here. Oh, are you calling me fat? Give me some money too. So what do you do besides cough? I sit in this chair and die. 
<laughs> Used to be a scavenger, or prospector as people call it now. Made good caps off that. Or I did before I wasted them on booze. 